Sears Holdings is cutting ties with Whirlpool and will no longer sell the company's products, which include Whirlpool's Maytag, KitchenAid and Gen Air subsidiaries, according to an internal Sears memo sent to stores last week. The memo was reviewed by CNBC. Whirlpool has sought to use its dominant position in the marketplace to make demands that would have prohibited us from offering Whirlpool products to our members at a reasonable price, Sears wrote to its employees. The Wall Street Journal first reported on the news Monday evening. Sears said it plans to sell Whirlpool's products in its facilities until inventory is depleted. The department store chain added that it will provide tools and instructions to its employees regarding how how to deal with excess inventory, and how to move into its Kenmore or other appliance brands. Whirlpool shares were falling more than 9% in pre-market trade Tuesday morning. The Michigan-based appliance manufacturer on Monday evening reported worse-than-expected third-quarter earnings, also trimming its financial outlook. Whirlpool said it expected to earn $11.10 to $11.40 per share for 2017, down from a prior forecast of $12.40 to $12.90 a share. Whirlpool chief executive Mark Bidzer has cited rising raw material costs and unfavorable price slash mixes weighing on the company's margins. Whirlpool will hold its quarterly earnings conference call Tuesday morning. Our representative from Whirlpool didn't immediately respond to CNBC's request for comment regarding the company parting ways with Sears. The Upton Machine Company, which eventually became Whirlpool, sold its first washing machines to Sears in 1916. Sears later took a stake in the appliance company in 1921. Moving forward, Sears said it will push its other top brands for the appliance category, which include LG, Samsung, GE, Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Bosch. The news of Sears cutting ties with Whirlpool comes after, earlier this year, Chief Executive Eddie Lampert took aim at the retailer's vendors, saying, We will not simply roll over and be taken advantage of, we will do what's right to protect the interests of our company and the millions of stakeholders we serve. Sears went on to sue two of its craftsman vendors, claiming there were disputes over their contracts. Since then, both lawsuits have been resolved. As of Monday's close, Sears shares have fallen near 30% in 2017.